In a country where athletics is a national pastime and Olympic runners are national heroes, lacrosse is an unlikely sport to take root. But thanks to a boost by several Americans and fellowship of Christian athletes, the sport is beginning to flourish in the nation of Uganda. In 2014, Uganda became the first African country to compete in FIEL Men's Lacrosse World Championship. With fresh backing from an American foundation this year and new American coach, Uganda entered its second World Championship not only looking professional, but showing flashes of world-class skills. A very distinct difference from four years ago. My first trip to, to Uganda, we had our first national team tryout last August, and we had four lacrosse balls. And imagine going through seven days of a tryout with four lacrosse balls, and we didn't lose one. So I felt like that was a, that, that was a victory in that sense. But look, you know, I mean, they're just so naturally gifted as athletes. And, and more, more so than just naturally gifted as athletes, they have this desire to just be part of this game. You know, our guys can play any other sports they want, and most of them have. Uh, 2014 was, uh, was amazing for us uh, to come for the first time. Uh, but this time, uh, 2018 is, is really special because uh, between the four years, the sport at home has really grown. We have uh, a, a much stronger league. Uh, more people playing, more kids playing. So for us, we feel we're not just representing ourselves, we're representing the country and, and the kids that have just started to play back home. The Uganda Lacrosse Foundation was established by Americans led by Matt Holman, providing equipment and money to develop the program in a nation that faces many economic challenges. It's called the Uganda Lacrosse Foundation. We're a U.S.-based nonprofit. We are based out of California. So just in this game alone, regardless of score, we're seeing things starting to happen positive for the kids. And that's what it's all about. They understand that it's a game. And what the coaches have been preaching to them the entire time is, you're better than what you think, and just go out there and play. You know, and don't be afraid to make a mistake. So. Uganda is located in East Central Africa, with Lake Victoria to its south. The country is flush with beauty and wild animals. As Coach Ginniger, vividly recalls from his first time there. And I flew into Kampala and we landed about four in the morning and I had a driver pick me up and drive me about three hours to Jinja on this little one lane road. And if you've, you know, as an American, you're used to driving on one side of the road, you're on the other side of the road and it's dark and it's the middle of the night and every car coming towards you looks like it's gonna be a head on collision. So he drops me at this field and he says, the guys will be there in a little bit, it's pitch black outside and I'm standing in the middle of this field and you can see the stars and the moon and, and you hear the, the sounds and you hear, you can see animals moving around and, and I'm standing there and, I'm, and I'll, I'll keep it, I'll keep it G-rated. I'm going, holy, I'm in Africa. Uh, yeah. Being part of lacrosse is really special because it's, uh, it's, it's, it's still a growing spot almost across the world. So, and mostly for us, Uganda, even with the challenges that we go through, the numbers keep going every day. Uh, we've been blessed to have amazing sponsors, donations, equipment drives, and those things really keep us going. We have more high schools playing, the girls game is picking up, so it's, it's really something great for us. And New federations are starting to evolve in Africa, including neighboring Kenya. The sport would seem to fit on the grassy pitches of the African warm climates. Now it is a matter of teaching the game and providing opportunities, as seen at this year's World Championship. Based on their team bond at this year's Worlds, Team Uganda is well on their way. And that's okay. Like I said, for them, it's really about playing experience. This, this was a whole new world for them. It's, it's a work in progress. So, you know, we saw, we saw some flashes of greatness. And again, you know, it speaks a lot to the kind of people they are. And, and it, it's, they're, they're not going to give up. One, two, three. Run! Run! Run!